The 1980s witnessed the enigmatic emergence of the Order of the Solar Temple, a clandestine and mystically driven sect that cast a long shadow across Europe and beyond. Founded in Switzerland by the enigmatic duo of Luc Jarret and Joseph de Mambro, this secretive group sought to forge a singular path, weaving a tapestry of esoteric beliefs inspired by the Knights Templar's mystique, Christian mysticism, and the burgeoning New Age spirituality. Jarret, a charismatic Belgian physician and the Order's chief ideologue, possessed a silver tongue and a penchant for weaving elaborate philosophical tapestries. His syncretic worldview promised salvation through a unique blend of doctrines, whispering of spiritual evolution, reincarnation, and the tantalizing possibility of attaining enlightenment through meticulously crafted rituals. De Mambro, a shrewd French financier, served as the group's financial cornerstone, his skillful maneuvering ensuring the order's coffers remained bountiful. The seeds of the Solar Temple's ideology were sown around a terrifying prophecy, an impending apocalypse that would usher in a new era. Adherents were led to believe they were divinely chosen, destined to transcend their earthly shackles and ascend to a higher spiritual plane. Rituals became their escape hatch, elaborate performances steeped in secrecy and symbolism. Held in secluded chalets or under the cloak of starry night, these gatherings pulsated with mystical chants, guided meditations, and initiation rites that promised ascension and a sense of belonging to a chosen few. The Order's allure captivated individuals from diverse backgrounds, but it was in the mid-1990s that their enigmatic dance with the occult took a horrific turn. In 1994, across the tranquil landscapes of Switzerland and Canada, a series of chilling events shattered the group's facade. What began as orchestrated mass suicides in the quaint Swiss village of Cherie Pocket with members dressed in white robes found lying side by side near a bonfire, spiraled into something far more sinister. In Quebec, ritualistic killings preceded suicides, leaving a trail of bodies contorted in macabre poses, their faces frozen in expressions of misplaced serenity. The horror didn't abate. The following year, 1995, witnessed further tragedies unfold on French soil. In Vercors, a picturesque mountain range, 16 souls, including de Mambro himself, were discovered lifeless inside a chalet, their demise orchestrated by a cocktail of sedatives and plastic bags. In the serene village of Salvan, Switzerland, five more lives were extinguished, another grim tableau of ritualistic death marking the scene. As the veil lifted on the Order's macabre activities, international investigations unearthed a web of deceit and manipulation. Financial irregularities reeking of embezzlement and coercion surfaced, alongside chilling tales of psychological pressure exerted on vulnerable members. The once secretive global network spanning from Canada to France and beyond was laid bare, its intricate organizational structure laid before the world to see. The Order of the Solar Temple's legacy remains a sobering cautionary tale. It stands as a chilling testament to the dangers posed by charismatic leaders who prey on human vulnerabilities and who orchestrate manipulation of devoted followers within the confines of fringe ideologies. The events of the mid-1990s continue to echo through the halls of academia, prompting ongoing discussions among scholars, psychologists, and sociologists about the seductive power of extremist beliefs and their potential to culminate in tragic outcomes. The Order's descent into mystical extremism offers a stark reminder of the fragility of the human mind and the seductive allure of the occult. It serves as a call for vigilance, urging us to remain ever watchful against the shadows that lurk at the fringes of society. Lest we fall prey to the whispers of false prophets and their alluring promises of spiritual transcendence, delivered not on a golden chariot, but on a pyre of despair and delusion.